Let's consult together against this greasy knight. Come in. Well, I hope it be not so. Hope is a dog in some affairs. I tell thee, Sir John affects thy wife. Sir, my wife is not young. <laughs> he woos both high and low, both rich and poor, both young and old. He loves the Gallimaufry ford, Papen. Love my wife? With liver burning hot. Prevent, or go thou like Sir Action with Ringwood at thy heels. Oh, odious is the name. What name, sir? The horn, I said. Farewell. <coughs> Take heed, have open eye, for thieves do foot by night. Away, Sir Corporal Nim. Believe it, page. He speaks sense. Be patient. I will find out this. And this is true. I like not what he will fly. He loves your wife. There's the short long bit. My name is Corporal Nim. I have ouched his crew. My <laughs> name is Nim, and Falstaff loves your wife. Adieu, I love not the humor of bread and cheese, and that's the humor of it. Adieu. <laughs> <laughs> the humor of it, quoth thee. Here's a fellow fritzing the shadow of his wits. I will seek out Falstaff. I never heard such a drawling, affecting rogue. If I do find it, well, I will not believe such a cotillion, though the priest of the town commended him for a true man. Twas a good, sensible fellow. Well. How now, Meg? Where to go, you, George? Hark you. How now, sweet Frank? Why art thou melancholy? I'm melancholy. I am not melancholy. Get you home. Go. <laughs> Faith, thou hast some crocs in thy head. <laughs> <laughs> now will you go, Mistress Page? Have with you. You'll come to dinner, George? Look who comes yonder. She shall be our messenger to this paltry knight. Trust me, I thought on her. She'll fit it. Mistress, quickly. You come to see my daughter Anne? Why, I prithee, and how does good Mistress Anne? Go in with us. We have an hour's talk with you. <laughs> <laughs>